<laughs> Shalom, Israel. I I just got done making a video for it for y'all, and uh, I screwed it up. I had my headphones on, so it might be better. That might have been one just between me and the Lord. <laughs> if, hey, I yeah, it was uh, might have been more personal than anything. Might have been might have been a private coffee sit down between me and him. But anyway, I, I, I reopened. I decided to do another, a different video. So, um, cause that one was, that's a, that's a harsh one. That one's for <laughs> advanced, advanced classes. This one's going to be pretty simple. This one is, um, before I get started, all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, how our Heavenly Father, maker of all things, creator, and uh, beloved of Yasharala. Bashem comes in the name of Yahweh Shai is our deliverer, our big brother. The Rakaha Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us this knowledge, wisdom, and ability to push out these truths in these perilous and dangerous times. Salakia. Oh. Okay, so I open to Matthew uh, 13, and 13, 44, the treasure and the goodly pearl. Verse 44, again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hidden in a field. The which when a man has found, he hideth and for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he has and buyeth that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is, verse 44, is like unto a merchant man seeking goodly pearls. 46, who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Okay, that's simple. These are simple scriptures. That is saying, when you realize the truth, you're not going to... You're not going to fall back into the world. That's what the kingdom of heaven is like. The kingdom of heaven is that place where you will not turn away from Yahawashai. You are set. You will, you will sell everything to follow after the law of liberty and the law of love, especially for your brethren, the Israelites. So that's a simple... That's a simple reminder. If you haven't sold everything, if you if you haven't sold out for um, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, then you're sold out to the other side, and you're an enemy of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. So either you're in or out. There's no walking a fence line. There's no half and half. Remember, the scripture says, "I would rather you be hot or cold." For in that way, I would not spew you out of my mouth. He, he will throw you up. If you are not set in your ways, if you will not sell everything for that field, if you did not put all your money into that pearl you found, that pearl of wisdom, that pearl of truth, that pearl of Yahawashai, I'll instruct you on what's going to happen next. So this is all red letter. This is Yahweh Shai speaking to his disciples. Verse 47. Again, this is called the full net. Verse 47, and it reads, Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast unto the sea and gathered of every kind, which when it was full, they drew to shore and sat down and gathered the good into the vessels, but cast the bad away. So they pull in the net, all the net, all the fish and they sit down and they sort the edible stuff from the vile nasty stuff all right 49 so shall it be at the end of the world the angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from the just that's the same idea as the wheat in the tears Either you're a good fish or you're a bad fish either you're good fruit or you're bad fruit either you're good wheat or or you're a tear. There's no, there's no, uh, we'll keep it for now. Nah. 
they are going to be able to tell. It's going to be obvious. Verse 50 of Matthew 13. And it reads, And shall cast them into the furnace of fire, there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. And Yahushai said unto them, Have ye understood all these things? They said unto, unto him, Yea, Lord, we have. Then said he unto them, verse 52, Therefore, every scribe which is instructed unto the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is an householder or an owner or a um, proprietor. He's the one that's in charge. Therefore, every scribe which is instructed unto the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is a householder which bringeth forth out of his treasures things new and old. So when I was talking a few weeks ago about the scribes, the, the, the Essenes, they're the ones, what it says here on the, in the, what is it? The explanation. Um, scribe which is instructed, that is a, a scholar in Old Testament law. That, those were the Essenes. Those were the ones I was talking about, the, the Dead Sea Scrolls and the pieces that they just found of um, pieces of Isaiah and pieces of Zephaniah. Don't quote me on that, but they, they found new pieces of, of scroll. 60 years later, 60 years later, they haven't found anything in Qumram, the Dead Sea Scroll area, in 60 years. How old am I going to be this year? 60 years. Anyhow, um, so um, the scribe which is instructed under the kingdom. The scribe which is instructed under the kingdom is the scholar of Old Testament law. He knows it's in his heart. And under the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is a householder. That is number two, which says concerning. Concerning the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is a householder. So concerning the kingdom, it's either you are an Israelite or you're not an Israelite. If you are an Israelite, the law, the scribe, the Essene in you will be your essence. It will be your essence. Essence. That's why they call them the Essenes. They had, it was in their essence to know the scriptures and the law. Okay. Which bringeth forth out of treasures things new and old. And it has a, um, an A at the, at things new and old, which sent me back to Song of Solomon. Song of Solomon 7.13. The mandrakes give a smell, and at our gates are all manner of pleasant fruits, new and old, which have laid up for thee, O oh my beloved. And right there it says, the fragrance, there's a, there's a smell, you can, you can smell it. If you're, if you're aware, you can, you can smell the beauty of the Lord. Um, which is laid up for the all things new and old. The new and old things are all the um, the laws and ordinances that we're going to be bringing out. It's going to be old stuff and new stuff, and that's that's where the beauty is because. The scriptures say there's no new thing under the sun, but when it comes to the Israelites, all things can be new and all old things can be brought back to remembrance. So that's, it, it seemed like a simple, it seemed like a simple lesson, a simple message, but the message is, is that if you're of Israel, you're going to get it. And you're going to be saved and delivered. The one third and the um, 144,000 elect that are going to rule. 
And then if you're the two third, he blinded you, man. He he put deaf, dumb, and blind all over you. You are painted with deaf, dumb, and blind. And at that point, you're not going to get it. And you're going to have to be destroyed on this side and come back as a nutsack Israelite when um, the 144 start bonking out babies again with, uh, with the one-third that make it. So that's the message for today. Um, a pearl of great price. If you're an Israelite and you've sold out for the Lord and you're um, and you're a bond servant to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, you're in good. You're in a good spot. If you're a two third, you're in, not in a bad spot. You're gonna make it as a nut sack, nut sacker. But um, you're going to have to die on this side with, in, with pain. And uh, that's all I got for today is that uh, it's in your essence. And I'm. it's coming more and more clear to me that um, the new thing, the new thing <laughs> is that Don't have to worry about these heathens or these two thirds. That all they're there for is to try and, and shut us down. And I see the enemy as the enemy now. That's a new thing. I thought I thought for a long time plantation Christianity told me, Yeah, man, if you love them into the heaven, they can they can turn around and they can repent and they can, yeah. The new thing is that deaf, dumb, and blind is what it is. If you can't see it, you're probably not going to see it. And what if you're listening to this and you don't get it, you're not going to get it. So, And if you do get it, consider yourself blessed. That's all I got. Israel, I love you. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash, J.D. Naja, your brother. Till the next one. Think about think about what it means to that pearl of great price and that field of, of great great wealth. It's 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 either this way or that way. Take your pick. I'm out. Like.